inspired by the styles of old Hollywood bombshells. For this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve the signature Sophia Loren look. As always, you want to begin by priming your lids with an eyeshadow primer to prevent any creasing and keep your eyeshadows from fading or slipping around. Next I'm going to take Lancome eyeshadow in Chic, a matte medium brown, and apply that to my lids. Sophia's makeup is always sweeping up, so remember to pull the eyeshadow up at the outer corners for that same uplifted effect. To add definition, I'm going to take Lancome eyeshadow and fashion label. I've been obsessed with this eyeshadow since I got a hold of it. It's a matte brown with a plum undertone and it looks gorgeous with every eye color. I especially love Lancome's matte eyeshadows in general just because they're very well pigmented and very easy to blend too which is hard to find in matte eyeshadows. To highlight under the brows, use a matte eyeshadow in a shade lighter than your skin tone. It's no secret that Sophia loved her liner. To get the shape perfect, start out with a black eyeshadow and an angled liner brush. For now, just outline the eyes. If you make any mistakes or need to fix something, eyeshadow is much more forgiving than a liquid liner. Extend the lower liner up to create a wing. Angle and connect the point to the rest of your liner and fill in the empty space. With a Q-tip and Lancome's Eau Fresh de Sewer Cleansing Water, clean up the line to create a sharp edge. The most important thing is to make sure that the eyes look as lifted as possible. Go over the eyeshadow outline with a liquid liner. You'll thank yourself now for using a black eyeshadow first. To open up the eyes, Sophia would line her waterline using a white eyeliner pencil. Now for the brows. Sophia's brows were very full, so I'm going to fill in my own a little bit thicker than usual using a matte powder eyeshadow in a shade close to my hair color. I prefer using a shadow when I'm really exaggerating my brow shape because it looks a lot more natural than a sharp pencil. The inner portions of her brows were very full and came down a little bit lower than my own brows too. Her arch also wasn't very sharp at all, instead it was very rounded. Let's finish the eyes by applying some volumizing mascara. My favorite is Lancome's Hypnose. It almost makes false lashes optional, but I'm going to apply some anyway because no bombshell is complete without her false lashes. You'll notice I'm using Duo Lash Adhesive in black. While it's still wet, it looks gray, but when it dries, it turns black and blends in perfectly with your black eyeliner. See what a difference false lashes can make? Sophia Loren had amazing bone structure, so you're going to want to accentuate your own. I'm applying a matte bronzer by Benefit called Hula with a blush brush along the hollows of my cheeks. It helps if you make a fish face and smile at the same time so that way you can really see the shape of your cheekbones and find your hollows. Sophia had a little bit of an indentation on her chin so you can add a little bit of contour powder in the center of your chin to mimic that for yourself. For blush, I'm going to apply a matte peachy color to the apples of my cheeks and blend it back. Finally the lips. Sophia had beautifully full lips. To fake that without painful injections, use a lip liner in a shade close to your skin tone and line just outside your natural lip line. Fill in your lips a little bit with the liner and blend it in with your finger. Here's another trick. Dust a little bit of contour powder just under your lip to give the illusion that your lips are so full and so pouty that they cast shadows. Now I'm going to apply a matte nude lipstick all over my lips. Blend it into the liner with your finger or lip brush. 
To add some color and dimension, apply a pink lip gloss to the center of your lips. If you like this video, remember to click on the thumbs up button. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video.